Uh, the students were faced with a real world problem, actually one uh, close to the school. Uh, we said that the elementary students, the, typically the grade ones, were faced with the need for more challenging experiences in their everyday. And so my students came up with a solution of creating puzzles from scratch uh, that would uh, address those concerns. My favorite part of the project was the initial planning because I like to be able to brainstorm and see like what works, what won't work and then reflecting on the plan when I ask other people like is this good and then making improvements on my plan. I have students from 9th grade through 12th grade. It becomes an elective within our high school program. So I've got students across the entire uh, high school. Um, but our objective was to meet for first uh, grade students who were looking for the challenge. So we actually extended all the way across all the schools. Risk taking, like taking a risk in, uh, like for example, if you're not like comfortable with something, then just take a risk and just see how it goes. If it doesn't go that well, it's fine. Just learn from your mistake and just, yeah, move on. Problem solving, because problem solving and being knowledgeable about the machines that we're using um, will help us a lot, especially if a piece of the machine breaks or we have to reset it up, that we, we really need to know how to do that, so. Uh, it's about learning to overcome challenge. It's rooted deeply within the MYP design cycle, which is less about product-based and more about the process in order to get there. It's about trying things out, experimenting, coming up with a plan, reevaluating your plan, reflecting on the things that you've done, and trying to come up with an even better way to make it happen. I think that this experience can help me since I have a lot of experience with the machine and just how to operate things so in the future when I ever need to use any one of these machines I'm not afraid to use it. Seeing their creativity come to life, you have these ideas and then slowly, ever so slowly, they start to grow into a tangible thing that we can see and use. Uh, and watching them go through the, the, the trials and tribulations of making it happen properly uh, and the do-overs, I just think that for these students, they have a real sense of achievement because of all of the little hiccups and road bumps along the way that they faced and managed to get around or overcome.